Jerry of the circus. Jerry of the circus. Boy, it's lucky we didn't land in that lake back there. Yeah, if we can only make that field now. You think I'd better call to him and tell him? Well, Jerry, he's got his hands full enough as it is. You know, he told us not to talk. But what if he hasn't seen that field? Well, if we saw it, he did. His eyes are trained for seeing those things. Boy, that gas here smells strong. Hey, hey look, Jerry, he's heading for it. We're going to make it. Brace yourself as much as you can and hold on tight. Okay, don't you worry about us. We'll be okay, Jim. Say, this is plenty exciting. Hey, we're certainly getting our money's worth. <laughs> Hold on. Here we go. Gee, what's it? It's like a roller coaster. <laughs> Woo. Boy, that's your riding them. You okay, Bum? Well, uh, I'm not sure. I'll know in a minute. Well, fellows, that was a pretty narrow escape. You all right? Sure. Say, I wouldn't have missed this for anything. Uh, what happened? Well, the gas line broke. Didn't you smell the gasoline? Now, I'll say we did. Well, that's a dangerous thing to have happen, isn't it? Well, I'll say. That's why I had to stop the engine. If the spark had caught, we'd have exploded in midair. Uh, lucky you found a place to land. Sure made a rough landing field. Say, uh, how are we going to get back? Well, that's what I'm wondering. I can fix up the gas line in a jiffy, but I'm not sure there's enough gas left to take us back. But we got to meet that passenger plane that's coming in, don't we, Bob? Well, we'd like to, of course, but the main thing is to get back to the circus in time for the show tonight. Good night. You don't think there's any danger of our getting stranded out here, do you? I hope not. But, well, I better take a look and see how much gas is left in the tank. Yeah, looks like we're in the middle of nowhere. There's not a house in sight, nor a highway, nor... Yeah, I wonder where we are, anyhow. Near Tiger Lake, if that helps any. Say, Jim, are there any roads near here? I'm afraid not. The main highway comes in on the other side of the lake. This part of the lake never has been built up. Uh, what about the gas, Jim? Enough to take us back? Well, it's pretty low. Well, there ought to be enough to take us in, but it'd be a little risky to try it. Mm -hmm. Any idea how far we'd have to walk to get help? No, I haven't. We might wander around for a couple of hours before we could find anyone with a car or phone. Say, we just got to get back for the show tonight. I'm certainly sorry. Oh, well, we know it's not your fault. These things will happen, you know. The only thing is to figure some way to, uh, say, listen, if we were lucky enough to find a car or be able to send for one, how far is it back to town? At least 25 miles. I thought you said Tiger Lake was only 10 miles from the airport. Uh, sure, as the crow flies, but that lake is three miles across, over a bad dirt road that winds in and out for miles. Three miles? Ha uh -huh. I got you there, Bump. You bet it was less than two miles across. Uh, looks like I get your dessert at dinner tonight. Mm, that is, if we get any dinner. <laughs> Gee, you're right. I forgot for a minute. Mm, looks like we're in a bad spot, Jim. Yes, I'm afraid so. Uh, are you willing to try to make the airport? That is, if you can fix up the gas line all right? Oh, sure. And for the gas line, I can fix that in no time. Okay. You do that, Jim, and we'll go with you. You will? Sure. Well, I don't think there's any real danger, but I never like to take a risk when I'm carrying passengers. Listen, circus folks are used to taking risks. Well, if you two feel like that, I'll get right to work on this faulty gas line. Hey, can I help? No, thanks. And I'll tell you what. I'm certain we can get back across Tiger Lake. If worse comes to worse, I'll find some place to land near the highway. So you'll be sure of getting back to the show by tonight anyhow. Yeah, that's the ticket. I knew we'd get out of this somehow. Yeah, and we might get back in time for dinner and the extra dessert, too. <laughs> Luckily, this is an easy job. 
the gas holds out, to get back in time to meet that passenger plane. I sure hope so. Hey, how much time we got yet, Bob? Uh, let's see. Oh, about 20 minutes. <laughs> Jimmy, this is your exciting. It's a lot more fun than just a safe 15 minutes ride to the lake and back. <laughs> Sir, the more difficulties Jerry gets into, the better he likes it. <laughs> <laughs> sure, even if it is kind of scary at the time. It's fun, of course, if things come out right. Gives you something to talk about for the rest of your life, huh, Jerry? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Well, folks, that's that. You mean she's ready to go? Sure. I told you it'd only take a second. You sure you both want to risk oh, it? Oh, positive. Of course. And if it weren't that we're going to meet Spike, he's a friend of ours, I wouldn't mind much if we had to come down alongside the highway. <laughs> well, I must say you're a glutton for punishment. Well, you better hop in. Right. We're going to meet that plane. We better get started. Okay, we're ready. Now, I warn you, when we taxi off, it's going to be pretty rough going, so hold on tight. It can't be much worse than it was coming in. I hope not. All right? Ready? Okay. Yep, I'm ready. Here she goes. Boy, that's better. That's one thing. The airways are always moving. Uh, indeed they're not. Hey, listen, Jerry, in bad weather, the airplanes knock around worse than ships in the storm at sea. Honest? Yeah, of course. But how? Well, the air is filled with all kinds of strange currents oh, and energy. Oh, of course. Funny, I guess I never thought much about it. And then when a plane hits uh, what they call an air pocket, well, those are the things that cause rough airplane sailing. Yep. Air is a very complex thing, all right. Look how it transmits wireless and radio messages. Boy, you're here. right. I guess there's more of this air business than I realize. See, Bump, seems like we're going pretty fast. Yeah, I hope you're right. It's almost time for that other plane to be due. wonder about how far we... Say, we're going to make it after all. <laughs> the Jim's certainly making good time. Can't even see Tiger Lake anymore, Jerry. And don't forget, you lost the bet. I get your dessert tonight, Bump. Ah, boy, I hope it's fine. Oh, okay, you won fair enough. It's certainly hard to judge the size of a thing way up here. Hey, look at that sound. Looks just like a map, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and there comes the circus. <laughs> You'd think the down was moving instead of us, wouldn't you? I wonder how the gas is holding out. Oh, it must be okay if Jim were to stop back there in the outskirts. Oh, here's the airport now. See, we're heading down. Hey, Bob, look, there's a plane landing now. Yeah, yeah, a big one, too. I guess that's the one we're interested in, Jerry. Spike will sure be surprised to find we've been up in the air, too, won't he? Yeah, I didn't say we were going to meet Spike. No, you didn't have to, I guess. Uh, that's what you think. Well, here we go. We're landing. <laughs> Boy, that's something. Not a bump. That was a swell landing. Well, folks, how'd you like the trip? Grand. <laughs> well, now, you'll excuse us, won't you, Jim? We don't want to miss our friend. He, he should be on that plane that came in right ahead of us. Sure thing. Run along. I'll meet you in front of the office. Bumps? He bumps. I don't see Spike. Well, there are all the people that get off. You see, they're just going through that gate now. Oh, I bet he couldn't make it at the last minute. Well, just a minute. Just a minute now, Jerry. Is he... huh? Hey, see? See that man over there? Huh? The one that's looking around as if he's expecting to find someone? It... It isn't. Oh, Bumps, it, it's Uncle Dan. Uncle Dan! <laughs> hey, Uncle Dan! Oh, so you were surprised after all. Uh, hey, hey, Dan! Here we are over here! Uncle Dan! Jerry. Uncle Dan! Bumps. Well, so you did come down to meet me after all. Oh, Uncle Dan, dear, I didn't know you were coming. Thought you could keep your uncle in a hospital all summer, eh? But I had no idea you were well enough yet. Oh, gee, I'm sure glad to see you. Well, Dan, you're looking fine. And fit as a fiddle. I tell you, Bumps, it won't be long before I'll be my old self again and be ready to head for the jungles on another expedition. Jiminy Willikers, and I was so sure I knew who was coming. I gotta hand it to you, Bumps, for keeping up the secret. Well, what do you think of me for a surprise? I tell you, it's the grandest surprise I ever had. <laughs> well, Dan, I guess we'd better be heading for the circus. Oh, oh, you got your bags? Uh, Porter took them up ahead. Say, how come you folks were out here on the field? I was looking all over for you over here. <laughs> Gee, we haven't had time to tell you. Bumps and I had been up in a plane. No. Well, now that's exciting. You haven't heard half of it yet. We had an accident. A what? Yeah, didn't we, Bumps? Well, a lucky accident, if you could call it that. Uh, the gas line broke. And we had to make a forced landing in the rockiest field you ever saw. Yeah, fortunately, we had a competent pilot. Yeah, and, and we weren't so sure whether there'd be enough gas to get back here on, but there was. And so... <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, not so fast. <laughs> I never saw anyone so excited. Say, who wouldn't be? What with an airplane ride and an accident and an uncle popping up all in one day? Yeah, I'm pretty well keyed up myself, Dan. <laughs> now, now then, what about you? That business of being an hour late, uh, what happened? Well, I can't be outdone. It's been an exciting day for us, too. You see, when we hit those mountains back there, there were some electrical storms. And you mean I thunder wanna... and lightning? Yes, sirree. And I tell you, Jerry, you want to get right up into the, all that lightning to really appreciate it. Say, that must have been dangerous. Well, I suppose it was. 
But it was so beautiful with all those black clouds flying around and then those huge streaks of lightning as if the whole world were cracking open. Was the thunder louder up there? Now, the funny part of it was we were a little above the storm and most of it seemed to be around or below us. You mean the thunder was below too? Yes. You should have heard it reverberate in those mountain paths. Well, it's <laughs> mighty fine to have you here safe, Dan. <laughs> and now then, shall we take a cab and head back for the searches? We're already late. So and we, we sure don't want to miss our dinner. I don't anyhow. I got an extra dessert coming, thanks to Bob's. <laughs> well, well, Dan Dugan. Well, it's certainly nice having you here with us again. I tell you, Mr. Randall, you've no idea how I feel about your generosity in letting me join the circus for the rest of the season. Oh, not at all. Why, uh, Dan, you're a real addition. Uh, listen, Mr. Randall, I want to make this one thing clear, once and for all, that we'll never bring it up again. <laughs> this sounds serious. It is, to me. I don't want this to be a charity proposition. Oh, don't be silly, Dan. Of course it isn't. I've had lots of experience along these lines, and I expect a definite job. I want to keep my self-respect by being of some real use to your outfit. Well, I'm sure you will be. Good. Then what are my duties? <clears throat> well, well, let's see, well, right now, I can't think of anything special, but... Now that's just what I was afraid of. Well, uh, take it easy for a day or two, Dan. Something will turn up and... Uh, Mr. Uh, Randall, I know that I'm one of the best organizers in the world. Anybody who has planned and carried out the kind of expeditions I've done for so many years has to be a good organizer. Well, I know that. Well, all right. Now, until you find some definite job for me, why don't you let me wander around this lot and try and check up on any loopholes? I might find some shortcuts along the work line. Or I might find a cheaper way of handling some of the business. Oh, uh, sort of uh, an efficiency expert, huh, Dan? You might call it that. <laughs> well, if you'd come to any other place but a circus with that offer, you'd probably have found plenty to suggest. Well, until you find me a better job, why don't you let me try? Why, right, Dan, <laughs> don't you know that circuses are the most highly efficient businesses in the world? Yes, but even in a circus, there must be some loopholes. Well, uh, well, I'll tell you what, Dan. I'm so sure you won't be able to make any shortcuts that... Well, I'm, I'm willing to wager you a new suit of clothes. You won't find one way of making this circus more efficient than it is. <laughs> You're on. <laughs> a suit of clothes for every suggestion I turn in that you use, huh? <laughs> okay, Dan, but <laughs> I'm afraid you're wasting your time. Oh, no. <laughs> Mr. Randall, I'm afraid you're going to be out a lot of clothes. I'm in need of a wardrobe right now. <laughs> and I'll tell you, before we hit winter quarters, I'll bet I'll be the best-dressed man in America. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, Dan, if you are, you'll certainly have earned everything you own. Thank you.